Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with another episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 176. Due to not many people commenting for the comment competition, what we're doing is only number one will go and get the missed case. However, I haven't picked the winner for week 175, so if you want to go and get into that episode, you've got a small window to do so. Now coming in at number 5, we've got Design Tory on Warhead Quarantine Region in a 1v10. He gets the double kill, he hops on top of the forklift, he turns around, he shoots the RPG, goes straight to a fantastic, he drops the mine, he drops the nade, gets the unbelievable, turns around, goes for some more and gets the unbelievable plus. Securing the number 4 spot is Jeekies on oil rig spy hunt using the G36E Valkyrie But he's also got some other things up his sleeve like some grenades He's gonna go and chuck one right on the ground He's trying to go and start up the accolade He's got a double kill, he's got an ultra kill He's spraying around, he tries to get the fantastic The UMP45 going to secure his VAT He swaps back, he's right in the centre of things He's gonna go and get the unbelievable The plus 2, the plus 3 He swaps to the mini me para And he's gonna go and spray around a little bit more in the hallway trying to go pick up as many people as possible plus four I believe he turns around he gets one more with a headshot and he tries he tries for one more but he can't go and get it fantastic streak Coming in at the bonus spot is Mathagus on power surge now he's using l 6 a one and this clip is just ridiculous. Preparing for round screen, he goes for the no scope he goes and gets the headshot and then he goes and gets the collateral what was that? That was absolutely insane. Now coming in at number two, we have got me gaming TV on oil rig one man. I'm using the on A6A1 Arctic Wolf and the SV98. He's gonna start it out with a bit of a back flank. He goes and takes out one, he takes out two for the double, and he goes and gets the multi as well. He's just ramping up the ultra kill, looking for some more enemies right in the middle of the whole way. There's a the fantastic, he goes and gets the unbelievable headshot. Then the plus one gets the plus two. There's one person behind those stairs, he goes and gets them as well, turning right back to the hallway, he tries for some more but he can't go and get for plus 4. Securing the number 2 spot is advanced on Ghost Town S&D using the AK-47 in a 1v5 situation. Now the bomb time is ticking, he's got to go and take out some enemies, a good start with one going down but there's still 4 more left. 17 bullets in the magazine, he's going to play very aggressively, going outside, drops down, he goes and gets 2 very quickly, there's the multi, he finishes off with the revolver and then goes and gets the ultra kill headshot but with only 2 seconds left on the clock he can't go and get the defuse. Sadly, doesn't win the round, but it's still 5 kills in a 1v5, very worthy the number 2 spot. Coming in at number 1 is iPand Effects. He is on Oil Rig Elim Pro in a 1v6. Now down to a 1v5 with that first kill. He's got the Holiday, he's got the Magnum, he's got the Tango, he's ready to go. He picks up another, he picks up the double actually, and now he's looking for some more. Down to a 1v3, he's got to go and check both the angles. He doesn't know if any enemies are going to be going and pushing up on him. So he goes and looks down, he goes and gets a kill. But as, as soon as he looks up, there's another person right in front of him. He pulls off some very panicky shots, drops down, trying to see if the enemy drops down as well. And now there's another person right in front of him. He misses the shot as well. He goes up the stairs and now he's going to try to re-engage the initial person that pushed him. Now he's just firing off some shots, trying to go in and get another enemy to be taken out so we can go for a one-on-one -on -one battle with a person on the ground level. He reloads all his weapons, he goes and takes a couple shots. On the third try, he goes and connects. Now just waiting, waiting for that last person to go and appear. And yes, he is on the ground story. He goes and pulls off one last shot with the sniper rifle and goes and hits him right in the head. Fantastic work. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to go and submit for week 177. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under, out.